Hi, I'm Tara Lee Cobble of the Bible Recap Podcast and Book, and today you and I get to talk about the verse of the day, Psalm 40, verses 1 through 2, the verses of the day. Here's what it says. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. So King David is the one who wrote this psalm, and he had a lot of opportunities in his life to demonstrate this very kind of patience in waiting for God. Like when he passed the 15 or so years between being anointed as king and actually becoming king. Like when King Saul hunted his life in the desert. Like when his own son mounted a rebellion against him. David waited for the Lord. Now, one thing that jumps out to me about this verse is that David doesn't say he's waiting patiently for a specific outcome. He says he's waiting for the Lord. He's waiting for God to act, to do what God will do, whatever that is. He seeks God's nearness most of all. More than anything, he's waiting for God to do or give. God is the primary goal here. The back half of this verse shows us that because it points us to the place where David's relief begins, when God turned to him and heard his cry. So whatever you're going through today, God is not distant. God is not passive. David doesn't get a special kind of attention that you and I don't have access to. Whatever sins you think you may have committed that have distanced you from God, David has almost certainly done worse. Yet, God turned to him and heard his cry. You are not far from God's ears and his heart. David knew and rejoiced in the fact that God was present. Then he praised God for how God responded when he drew near. God was the one who rescued David out of the pit of death, the slippery place that he couldn't escape on his own. God set his feet on the immovable rock. And when God rescued us into relationship with himself, that's what he did for us too. We were in a pit of destruction and couldn't escape on our own. We needed rescue. And the father sent his son Jesus to be our rescuer. We are firmly planted on Christ the rock. So today, regardless what you encounter, I pray that you remember that all your steps are secure. He's near, he loves you, he keeps you.